The story of one Florida man who is trying to get even with Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis' school book ban by petitioning to ban the Bible. You might remember the Governor DeSantis announced a ban on math textbooks with references to critical race theory, gender identity, and sexuality. But Chaz Stevens, who calls himself a stunt activist, says the Bible is just as sexually charged and violent as other books that the state is currently targeting. He's filed petitions with at least 63 Florida school districts and joins us now. Uh, Chaz, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, let's just jump right in here. Can you give us a sense of the feedback that you've gotten from any of the Florida school boards on your efforts? Uh, good evening, ma'am. Uh, Broward County has been favorable, at least to the reception of my petitions. Orange County for Orlando basically told me to pound sand. And the folks in Leon County, which is Tallahassee, they are taking inventory of all the Bibles that are, are in the libraries around the school system. So uh, I expect to hear 63 different answers. And can you explain what in the Bible you find so problematic that you're seeking a ban on it? Which page do you turn to? There are hundreds and hundreds of complaints, smashing babies against the rocks, uh, paying 50 silver pieces to the daughter's husband, a daughter's father, if you rape the woman. Uh, it's, 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 it talks about adultery, it talks about bestiality, it talks about cannibalism. One doesn't have to turn very far in the Bible to find something that is just egregious. And I'm not sure why we teach those lessons to our children. It's certainly a tall order to seek a ban on a book that's central source of faith for millions around the world. What's the message here that you're really trying to get across? The message? Tallahassee passed the rule, HB 1467, which allows citizens such as myself to, to raise uh, complaints uh, and petitions for the review of the books in the in the school systems that they find objectionable. I don't think finding, you know, Psalm 137, 9, smashing babies against the rocks, let's just take that. I'm not sure the value of teaching that to children or the value of that in the school system. So Tallahassee passed the rule. I'm just using the law that, uh, that they passed, and I don't think they plan for this uh, unexpected consequence. Do you remember that essay, A Modest Proposal? That's what this is uh, striking for me, uh, the, the, the idea that this is conjuring for me. And I'm just curious, do you really want the Bible banned or is this just a larger point that you're trying to make? No, I want the Bible banned. Ma'am, I'm an atheist. Um, I want science and math and ethics and values and empathy taught in our schools. I don't want some ethics from 2,000 years ago taught in our schools. It, it, the pages are just need to go. Uh, the, the Bible studies in Florida are allowed in cl the classroom. We're talking about instructional material in the library. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending upon your viewpoint, Tallahassee didn't describe what instructional material is. And this week I'm extending my 63 petitions to include online material. So is the Bible there physically in the school or does the school provide internet connections, computer systems that allow people to visit Bible.com. The same way that school systems using light speed systems block objectionable content like pornography, I suggest that they can block objectionable content like Bible.com. So I, I just last question to you, because you call yourself a, a stunt activist, right? So what's yes, the stunt here then? If you really, if this is something that you really want, I, I feel like I'm missing the stunt aspect. Uh, the stunt is the stunt is I, I've taken the hypocrisy that that that's readily apparent, and I wrapped it in a, a, in a pretty blue bow. And here I am on a, ABC News and, and and your competitors. The stunt gets me to bring my message up. It's political satire. It's 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 a political message wrapped with you know a shiny funny bow that I hope people laugh at, and then take and stop and forget the messenger such as myself and look at the message. Do we really want to be talking about the Bible? Do we really? want those religious materials in a public school system. Chaz Stevens, we thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.